we have an absolutely calm and peaceful atmosphere. We had just uh, one rocket attack uh, on the very first day of this war. It was early in the morning. I woke up because of the sounds of some explosion. Uh, it was an attack on our uh, airport. Oh. Because we have there a quite big military unit, so actually not the, the civil airport, but Ukrainian airplanes were already in air, so they, they were saved, all of them, and they can fight today in other parts of Ukraine, and they do it very successful. Yes, it was the only extreme situation in our city. Of course, we do have some air alarms every day. They must go to the shelters. Actually, the life is normal, but you can see on the streets the people who are going, like, you know, a little bit faster as usually. Cafes and restaurants and many shops uh, are closed. And we also have a lot of refugees from other parts of the country where the war is uh, really hard and cruel. Uh, our people organized here some info points uh, where they can get some information about the possibilities with housing and uh, other kinds of support. Well, that's great. And many, many men are voluntarily in the troops. They got already uh, weapons and they are ready to defend our city and our region if uh, the Russian troops uh, come here. But I don't think this. I, I see this war is uh, absolutely unsuccessful for aggressors. They are beaten everywhere. Actually, they don't have any big uh, successes. It means that the civil people here, the population, is in a good mood. We get the good news from the front, so the people are motivated to do their best uh, to support uh, our army and our state. Well, you know, the whole world is inspired by your nation, uh, your nation's resistance and your president. Um, tell me how, how you're doing personally. Yes, I, I am working a lot uh, in the way we, we do now with you. So I, I get uh, loads and loads and loads of Interviews. requests. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, we have alarm. I have to... Maybe we can continue, but I hear the sound of oh. air alarm right okay. now. I, Do you need to go? Uh, I probably just remain here at home. Anything you would like to tell the uh, world? Yes, yes. I, I see this reaction. We are absolutely touched by this uh, huge wave of uh, support. And so uh, I hope very much that the way Ukraine to uh, Western, to European structures will be much quicker than this two or three decades before. During of the last six, seven days, we got such a massive empathy and political support from all the civilized countries. We are together now with the European Union, with the USA, with uh, Britain, and it's very important for Ukraine to, to have this prospect on the horizon and to see we are getting much, much, much closer to a free democratic world. Well, it's wonderful to hear the high morale that's in Ukraine, and our prayers are with you. We hope that you'll be victorious. A sign of siren, so we have to, to go to the shelter. Okay. You're right. Stay mm -hmm. safe. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.